Hi, Flastian. <laughs> I'm Connie. I'm Melina. And we, we are, are Count, count twice, twice, Stitch Once. once. Back for another uh, rousting round of glossy tube. <laughs> Not much been going on around mm -hmm. here. It's just really hot. It's hot, <laughs> muggy, nasty. Um, things are opening up in Illinois. Still haven't been opening up myself. <laughs> so I did go to a restaurant for the first time last week, the week before? I don't remember. Anyway, it was weird. I went to one today. <laughs> well, it's kind of not good, but it will. So we'll just uh, jump right in since we don't really have any scintillating news about anything. <laughs> I guess uh, my office is starting to open up in July and I'll be required to spend 20% uh, of my time working in the office now and they don't know what it's going to look like yet so we'll have to learn more about if it will be me and my mask at my desk on conference calls all day which makes me yeah. sense but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what's <laughs> Anyway, let's see. Last we filmed we were still on a Stitch Mania time mm -hmm. for me. Well, for you too. Melina's doing more like Mirabilia Mania. Monaga Mania. Monaga. Monaga Mirabilia Mania. <laughs> Mira Monaga Mania. <laughs> <laughs> All the M's. <laughs> Melina, Monaga, Mirabilia Mania. <laughs> <laughs> and I was doing 21 starts for 2021. So, I will start since I was doing more stuff. Yep. One of my starts was um, Patty Patchwork by Brooks Books Publishing, and she was from this um, cross stitch needlework from September of 2014. She has actually re released this pattern, so you can get it now on her Etsy or her store, or whatever. This was as far as I got. Well, actually, I worked on this after Mania too. I worked on when we had our Friday night stitch group. So, got a patch. I love all of her bright colors. A little bit of candy corn. Starting on the trick or treat bag. Another patch. So a few more times, and she'll be done. Another start I had was this Owl Forest, which was not a kit, it was just a chart. And I think this is called Visiting a Fairy Tale or Once Upon a Fairy Tale or something like that. Can't remember. If you can read Russian, that's what it is. <laughs> and I didn't get very far on that. I'm not sure if I really like my color choice of floss on that, but. It's like the bottom part of the water. It's the bottom part of the water. I think it will be good. Um, it's actually two different colors, but it, and they kind of look pretty close when you get them on the fabric, so really couldn't tell it was two different colors, but oh, that was that was that one. That's how that goes. <laughs> Another start I had was um, this Mill Hill out on a limb. This is the Bluebird. I finished Aqua Bird, which you will see when I talk about finishes um, or FFOs. And this is as far as I got on that. This actually has a lot of blends in here, which I didn't realize, but a lot of stuff in here is blended threads. So well, that's pretty fun. And then I um, will have several more of those birds to do. Um, another one that I had was in my Garon Toten bag. It is Bendy Stitchy Winter Witches. This came in the Black Needle Society Nice List Box. 2020. 2020. And this is as far as I got on that. And this is on 40 count fiber on a whim dusk. 
Oh, and that's uh, Hildy's Brew on that side and the Winter Witches on that side. <laughs> I thought this fabric would work for both of those things. <laughs> That is as far as I got on that. And then I did work on a few other things, but I finished them and then I FFO'd them. So I will be showing those when we talk about finishes and FFO. Is that your mania? That's my mania. Finish. I can finish my mania plus. <laughs> I'm not going to take this off of here, so you won't be able to see the bottom. I apologize, but not worth it <laughs> so yeah this is my mirabilia blossom goddess that i was working on her for all the mania solely her and that is how far i've gotten i have all the stitching done on the bottom part you can kind of tell it's rolled up mm -hmm. back there <laughs> that's so pretty and so i'm definitely over halfway done the top of her dress is about maybe yay more up here so progress made and yeah. I did get a Lowry stand and then I went to Michael's one day and this is part of my haul but that she's on this I bought one of their cheapo scroll rod frame things that was like on clearance so it was only like ten dollars just to try it out and it's working fine but tension is like really it's not some of those great. I need to get a little clippy well magnet or things. like an actual better scroll rod because this is just a cheapo one you can test one of those ones I have back there that we yeah. have stuff on them. So, <laughs> but it's working and it's good. I like my Lowry stand when I can use that. I like it, so. Alrighty. That's yeah. Lena's Mania. <laughs> mania Plus. <laughs> mania Plus. That was, yeah, my Mania Plus was actually that stuff. So whips. Well, I just meant Mania Plus because I worked on it after Mania. Right. Well, I mean, I worked on this <laughs> after Mania. And that was really, I think, the only thing. Well, some of the other things, but we'll talk about them later. My one whip is that I worked on at the end of May to get a thousand stitches in my long dog. The Pattern Queens, Keisha and Lara. We're actually doing a long dog and trying to do a thousand stitches um, a month. I don't know if they've done it, but I've been trying to do that. So this is what mine looks like after a thousand stitches. For May. For May. So I got that much done. Did I show this the last time? I feel like you did. Well, if I did. I'm repeating uh, myself, but that's I don't know if you I had got. all of your thousand done yet, though, or not. Yeah, I might not have, but now I, then I did. So now I got to work on a thousand stitches for June. That'll be coming up someday. But my main um, whip that I've worked on most of June is my coffee Quaker. Um, by Heartstring Samplery. That is because Michelle Bindi Stitchy was, she had a Quaker Zoom sow for Halloween Quaker and she finished hers so she opened it up to anybody that was doing a Quaker. So I did join in one time with my Halloween or my coffee Quaker because I figured it was a Quaker. So then I just kept working on it because I started this January 10th of 2019 and I don't think I've worked on it since then. <laughs> so now I was working on it because I like it. It is done on 40 Count Stars Hollow by R&R &R, and this is how far I've gotten. I've changed a few colors. I changed, this is supposed to be um, grasshopper and I changed it to ocean and I changed this bird to black coffee because actually this chart didn't call for any black coffee and I was like hey it needs some black coffee it's coffee Quaker and then this bird this I think is supposed to be a bird but I thought it looked like a dragon and it had a thing that was supposed to be like a a beak on there 
And I was going to leave it off because I think it looks like a dragon, so I'm going to leave it like a dragon. And then this, I told Melina it was a golden snitch. <laughs> Does that something look like to me? <laughs> so it has a golden snitch and a dragon in it. <laughs> well, that was my cop quick, or that's mainly what I've been working on. I'm trying nice. to get that finished. So that was that. I have one other whip that was a new start, and I only started it because I know it's going to be for a prompt on the Frogwarts retreat. Mm. So I wanted to have a start at least to get me, because I don't yes. do that fast when I start. So that is this Mirabilia Echo Lake. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I ordered it, because the bottom is like completely insane full coverage. Yes. Yeah. Very full coverage. And also, the other thing is, I took my Lowry stand in the basement because it's cool down there instead of upstairs on the second floor. So when we have stitch nights, I can do it in the basement. And I also think I broke my tailbone, so I have the only chair I feel comfortable sitting in with my cushion. It's my office chair. Anyway, so <laughs> all in all, I needed something upstairs because I don't want to drag my Lowry stand up and down the stairs every two seconds. So. I started this too on my lap stand and that is how far I've gotten. So real exciting there. <laughs> hey, it's a start. <laughs> I haven't been stitching very much because I can't really sit very comfy because I think I broke my tailbone because I fell down the stairs. I don't even need to talk about it, but I'm okay. Luckily, I really could have been dead. It was pretty bad, yeah. but I'm okay. <laughs> that was two and a half weeks ago now. So I'm recovered. <laughs> For the most part, except my tailbone. That's all I've worked on. So in the past couple weeks, I haven't been doing quite as much stitching as usual just because I can't be comfortable. So I get off work and then I go lay on the couch because laying down feels better than anything else. <laughs> Sad, but true. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay. For... This is kind of... Well, it is mania, but it's also in my finishes. I was working on this um, Milhill medallion egg, and I actually finished it and FFO'd it. All beads. All beads. And I actually finished it because I had finished this one, which is... Uh, mosaic egg and it said if you had the eggs you could finish them like you could actually do two and then stitch them together but I thought eh, it would be pretty with one side one and one side the other. they kind of match together so I thought they worked the colors were the similar so I put those together and stitched them up and FFO'd it well, that was one of my um, mania starts, but I actually finished it also. And then another mania start and finish and FFO was this curly ho ho <laughs> that Melina did before. And I finished. And you know, just glued felt on the back, basically. So. Have I voted? So, that wasn't the. Then another um, <laughs> mania start and finished. I think this was the last. My last mania start and finish was um, Jingle Bell Reef that Melina actually did also, and finished that. And FFO'd it. So that one was done too. Then She's been a maniac. Then I've been going on a finishing kick, so I have a lot of lot of FFOs. <laughs> this one is a partial FFO. It's not quite finished because I still I got some other trim to do this trim, but I don't really like it so I was going to try to see if I could order some darker trim. 
So I have it all finished except for the trim. It's a little witchy hat. It's really cute. It's so cute. So I need to find some trim and then that will be done. Um, this was another one that I had finished quite a while ago, which basically just stitched the dress, vow stuff, come fly with me. And I finished her. And that's what she looks like. Really cute too. I, I didn't like the hair they sent because this hair was like basically just a big thing of netting. So I went to Michael's and bought this yarn and finished it with this yarn. And I like her hair like that. Plus I added a little bit of um, wizard mini pom-poms for her hat. And they said to glue the broom to her side and I had to put it in her hand because I thought that was cuter. And then I would still want to put a few dots around on the stand, like they have little painted dots on theirs. There's a square, but I just got this round one, and my husband spray painted it for me. It's still kind of sticky. And then uh, put some little dots or something around it. So she's done. She's so cute. I think she looks really good. I love her. <laughs> She was fun to assemble. Then this one I've shown before because I had it finished, but I glued uh, some felt around this tube that I had gotten some stuff in that was a uh, from Craft Fantastic. Like a mailing tube. Yeah. So I Velcroed it so I can take it off if I don't want it on there, but I thought it could work for a tree topper. And stick the top of the tree through the hole. I think that will be good. So that's what I did with that one. And I have these <laughs> lovelies. You can't really see them. Praiseworthy stitches. These were kits that I got this one I got from the Silver Needle, but I think I got this when they were at Galleria. And then this one I got from Stitch by Stitch in Cape May, New Jersey, which is a praiseworthy stitches kit also. They show them sideways. That way. <laughs> so I got those done. Here's the one. This one is, say, Boo. They look really cute. Uh, some, they said to use dental floss to put it together. I used some beading thread that I had because it's stronger than dental floss. So I don't think it will ever come apart. This one, same thing. I actually interchanged <laughs> some beads that I had for beads they sent because they sent some ugly beads. This one was like this wood yellowy brownish color. I didn't like it. And I took that one off and put my own stuff in there. Mm -hmm. This one is called Spider's Spell. They look really cute. They were kind of a pain to hand sew all that. But I did it. Turned out good though. Just don't look too close at the way I stitched up the bottom. <laughs> it's always being mean to herself. <laughs> this one, I showed another one because I had done this for Lara. Uh, the Pattern Queens and the Black Needle Society because she was doing a de-stash of her stuff when she was going through it. And she saw this and she goes, oh, basically I just need somebody to stitch this for me. So I told her I would stitch it for her because I wanted to stitch one for myself too. So I got that from her and I sent hers to her, but I actually finished mine after about a week after I finished hers because I needed a break because it was addressing me out. So that's that. And it's stuffed with uh, plastic pellets. And it's all 40 count, or no, 
28 count stitched over one the stitching and then I made the cording and all that and my ordered these patriotic scissors because I was doing a patriotic scissor file so I thought it needs some patriotic scissors so that was that then I got this back from the framers. I actually took this to Jeffrey Owens, which is a store that we have in Bloomington Normal, and they framed it for me. And it's Cat Lessons for People by Lizzie Kate. I am actually taking this to my daughter, Alyssa, at the end of this month. Turned out really cute. And I love it. It looks really cute with this orange frame, I think. So that's that one. Um, these are just some finishes that I got. Um, this is, I don't have the book, but you guys, if you've watched this before, you have seen this before. This is house number six of A Haunting We Will Go. And this is the graveyard scene from A Haunting We Will Go. I finished those, they're not FFO, they're just finished. And then this one as a, just a finish. Cross stitch makes everything okayer. And then I need to send this on because um, our Friday night stitch group, we're all going to stitch this you know, individually. We're not. It's not a round robin or anything. It's just individually. We're all going to stitch this. So this is on 40 count moon dust opalescent, and it's my finish. I changed this color to a DMC over dye, which I fussy cut because the light purple in it wouldn't show up on this fabric. So I had to cut all that out and just use the other parts. And then I changed this green to, it was called for grape leaf. I changed it to emerald. And then this one was supposed to be Brethren Blue, but my Brethren Blue was not, this blue is what it showed in the picture, and I didn't like it, so this is DMC 4514. And all the rest is I just used the call for colors. So I thought that turned out really good, and I was thinking about seeing if somebody could make it into a project bag for me, because I thought it would be cute. As project bag but I'm not have that good of sewing ability so <laughs> there's another finish I had <laughs> I have a lot of finish this little ornament which is a stitch and hang that my friend Cindy had given me a bunch of kits that we could give away on our channel this one was partially done, so I just finished it. I'm gonna give it to my daughter Alyssa also, because she loves cats, and it's the cat with the ornament. So I just put sparkly white felt on the back. Giving her that for her Christmas tree. I finished Vampur by Satsuma Street. Just put black felt on the back, basically. And that's that. Then I finished this Give Thanks by Shepherd's Bush. Um, they had it on this big old stuff. I can't remember what this, is, what this is called. It says what it is in there, but I just didn't like that. So I did it, I think, on 40 count or some. I don't know what it is, but I, it was smaller than what they said. And I got, found this little frame at Michael's, but it was too big. To, uh, I like my things to have more even kind of margarine, margins. So I added some leaves on the bottom, so it took up more space. I think it turned out cute, but I really like it. I think it looks cute in this little frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one a lot. Then, this is the aqua bird when I 
talked about when I was showing the Bluebird. And I ordered the Mill Hill frame and put it in there. Actually, I added a few stitches on the edges because I thought it looked better if it was like all the way to the edge. So I added a few stitches to make it be to the edge. So that's my finish on that. Then I finished my Brooks books. Um, Sally's Stitch Witch. And my husband painted this frame that my friend Cindy gave me with hammered black. And this is my finish on her. It's a bit crooked in there. No, not in there. So anyway, that's her. I've got ordered this little mirror from Miniature Collection and stuck it on there because I thought it needed a little something something. But I like her. So she will go up on my witch ball. And then this is a partial finish also. Melina stitched this for me on one over one. That was like one of the first things she stitched and she did it one over one. And she made the bike rider have purple hair. And this was from a Lizzie Kate. Can't remember the name of the chart. We gave it away on our channel a long time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I'm have this to put the green series or something yeah, like that and something and then i have got this to put on, it on there and then i'm going to get some wood and mount it on that but that's that's a partial partial finish an almost finish finish <laughs> and that was all the stuff i ffo'd Phew. I still have a whole big pile of more things to FFO. <laughs> so I'll be getting there someday. <sighs> that was a lot. Yep. So Melina didn't have any FFOs no. or finishes. So <laughs> all that. I worked on was what I already showed. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> so I'll give you a chance and you can talk about some haul. So one thing I got, and it didn't come ripped, that was me trying to show everything back in here wrong, is <laughs> the rainbow box from Black and Girls. I'm sure you've seen this, but if you haven't, you can shut it off because I don't, you haven't opened yours yet. We got the scarf. It's big and huge. And it says, science is real. And this mask. Black lives matter. No Human is illegal. Love is love. Women's rights are human rights. Kindness, Kindness is everything. Another rainbow. And I've worn this mask a lot because I really like it, actually. I like how it fits. Okay, and then... <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm not doing this in a professional unboxing manner. <laughs> and I got this silks for you silk, which is really pretty. I like that it's like pastel rainbow colors. And this popcorn, which I haven't tasted yet because I was waiting until I showed it. <laughs> Tastes like fruity pebbles, I've heard. These, which you saw on my whip, that's on my lap stand thing dad made me. And I need, I was gonna get some of these, so these were good because I wanted some. And my notepad. And my teas. I'm going quick because I'm sure people have seen unboxings of this really? already. <laughs> and if you haven't, plenty of people have done yeah. unboxing, so you can find somebody and somewhere. And teaspoon, which I've also used already. <laughs> and this finishing fabric, which I don't think I would actually use it to finish something on because it's a little too wild for me. But I thought it might make a good project bag. So if I get brave enough to try to figure out how to make one, then I think I'm going to use this. <laughs> It's pretty. Cool yeah, project bag. I think it would make a really pretty project bag. And then these stickers of donuts and coffee with rainbows on them. Fun. And the needle minder, which it says stitch with all the colors. So pretty. Which I like this needle minder. I like those. 
and this fabric which is amazing when you watch because everybody's looks different and mine really looks pink purple and teal and not rainbow colors at all and everybody else's i've seen doesn't look quite like no mine yours no <laughs> i haven't seen but i like it so don't yeah. take it that i don't i just it amazes me how different yeah. i feel like it looks than everybody else i know i love these colors so i'm not mad at i was it. watching somebody's and it really did look like red more rainbow like and yellow and, and yellow. blue yeah mine looks and yours doesn't so, but I love it. I love my color stuff. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I just am amazed how different it looks. Yeah, it's amazing. And then this chart, and I don't even know if I got everything because I have this stuff scattered. Um, it seems like you do. The Stitch Rovia chart, be kind always. So I really, I do think this chart is pretty. And she did different hand colors down here. My hand's kind of glary, but. So I'm not sure when this will go in my rotation, but I do like it, so I'm gonna keep it. How was that, that box? <laughs> if I remember to bring everything, which I'm not 100% sure, but it's close, if not all. <laughs> okay, my haul is, whew, this was one thing I got at Michael's. Do you want this C on here? No, I have the A over too. And that was um was actually in the red, white, and blue section that was in, on clearance. Nice. Or not clearance, but like forty percent off or something. Oh, oh what the heck? So I have a tray that maybe someday I can finish some smalls and um yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Put in there, I don't know. These are some other haul I got from 123 Stitch. Some more frames for my Mill Hill birds, which was another haul. I got the yellow bird kit to put in one of these frames. So I have all the frames that will match. Good. Um, also from that 123 Stitch order, I got this Magic Kitty Mill Hill and this bumblebee in mill hill because we are going on a trip to virginia beach we're leaving at the end of this month and i will need projects i can do on the road and in various lighting conditions so back to the mill hills because i can do those in the car <laughs> Then I got this order from Sugar Pink Boutique. I ordered some trims. Um, Sugar Pink Boutique on Etsy. And this was one of the trims. I need your scissors. <laughs> <laughs> it says Boo. Thought this could be cute on a little Halloween finish. Yeah. And then I got this because I thought about for the hat, this hat, but the color's mm. even lighter than this other color I already had. So Is I, that the one that you said you got or did you get another different no, one? No, this was the one. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't think I'm gonna use it for that, but I mean. I still no, you can like use it, it for something else. Could be for a Halloween thing, so it still works. Yeah. And I got my Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And I really, really, really want to start this Barbara Anna that's in here. It is the cutest ever. <laughs> it is hot as heck in here. That is Sea Dandelion. Oh my God, that's cute. I want to I steal know, that from you and do I it love right it. now. I want to do it. And it's Wait. not very big. <laughs> no, it's super small. So I think really I can cute. get it done pretty fast. What? <laughs> I love it. You're gonna have to give me this magazine when you finish it. <laughs> so then my other haul, I got my 100 owls threads from Owl Forest Embroidery. So some year I can start on my 100 owls sal and join Athena and Beth from Busy Bee Stitches. And Athena has, what's Athena's name again? Stitching Stitch, Goddess Stitching Designs. Stitching Goddess Designs. <laughs> Sorry, Athena. I couldn't remember. So there you go. Someday I have to start that. This one's cute too. Which 
on that cat. Oh yeah, I like that one too. I wanted to do that. And then, flower. And then um, Lindy Stitches has a cat in there that I really like. And from our local thrift store, I found some finishing fabrics that I got. So I'll do those pretty quick. Different colors of hearts. Different colors of flowers. And this red, this plain. I thought those would be some good finishing fabrics for something. And a bunch of DMC and a bunch more DMC came with this it was a kit of something but nothing's there except for these foam hearts and these this stuff which I don't think I will make any of these ornaments because they're pretty, but I, they're just nothing that I really wanted to make. But I, they had some Mill Hill beads and the floss in there. So I thought I would take the floss and Mill Hill beads. It was like a dollar or something, so maybe two dollars. Fair was worth that for that stuff. And then I got some beads from the thrift store, too, that Melina and I made some cute little things Oh, I with. forgot to bring my things. Dang it. Well, I can show mine. So, Melina and I had a fun day and <laughs> decided to make... I had the idea when I got these little witch head lamp work beads to make it into, like, a little person. And then I was looking on Etsy for beads and I actually found a company that, well, company, a lady that had done, um, I think it's called Batches and Bones. And she had done a bunch of little skeleton head people and I had some of skeleton heads and I was like, ooh, those are cute. I can make my own, so. <laughs> I did. Malia made some too. They're at my house. I failed to bring them. This one I made. <laughs> that one's cute. For my daughter, Alyssa. I don't think I saw that one finished. <laughs> and <laughs> like its little thighs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's holding a little skeleton head. And she hates ladybugs, so I made it hold a ladybug too. <laughs> I'm gonna go take my whiny butt okay. outside while you talk about those. All right. <laughs> and then I made a little witch with my little lamp work witch head. And she's holding a moon and a little star. And these are some of the beads that I, well, I think I ordered this one. But these beads, I oh, don't know, I think I actually ordered those too. And then this one actually is made with some beads that I got at the thrift store. The skeleton. And, she, and it's holding a little black skeleton head and an eyeball. So I thought these were so funny. I loved them. They were just fun to make. And then Melina made two. She made a skeleton head and a... I can't remember. All right. All right. Melina actually did a pumpkin head and, and a skeleton. Skeleton head. She didn't do witch head. I ran out of time. <laughs> I had to go because I had to something. Oh, I was giving blood. I had to leave because oh, I was giving blood. Right. She was giving blood. <laughs> she was doing her civic duty. I was being a nice human. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> anyway. All right. So I had a few people for the under 1,000 subs club that I would like to shout out, which one is Athena of Stitching Goddess Designs. She has a Facebook group and she does cross stitch shirts, um, which are really cute. They're awesome. And I have a bunch. Mom has a bunch. I do. <laughs> I love them. 
And then I should have worn one today, but I didn't. Me too, but I was trying to practice dressing like a real person who goes to work <laughs> in preparation for July. <laughs> and so you can look her up on Facebook and order a shirt or whatever. And she has floss tea by the same name. She shows a lot of fun stuff. So yeah, a lot of Harry Potter stuff if you like Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah, and she has a Harry Potter haul at the end, so it's not just stitching, but she has a lot of good Harry Potter haul. Um, another one is Busy Bee Stitches, our friend Beth. Um, she has floss tube. She stitches a lot of different things. She does a good variety. She does yeah. some full coverage. She yeah. does some print, like more printy looking stuff. Mm -hmm. She does some more modern looking stuff. Yeah. She, uh, she does a lot she of different does, stuff. Yeah, so give her a watch. And she does pin collecting. Yes, and she has a lot of pins. But so she, she shares does. those when she gets them yeah. in. Her They're pins usually are cute. Awesome. <laughs> and then um, Lara and Keisha. Lara's the pattern queens. Um, she does floss tube with Keisha. She's also a part of the Black Needle Society and Loving More Studio. So I'm sure you've heard of her before. Or not. But anyway, they have a floss tube, the pattern queens. So go give them a watch. They did all kinds of stuff. Keisha's been doing a lot of Mill Hill things um, and other things too. And then Lara stitches all kinds of different stuff. So she has over 140 whips, I think. That sounds right. <laughs> so go give them a watch. Um, let's see who else. Who else is in our stitching group that has a floss tube? I don't think anybody else does, do they? I don't think so. And then, I guess that's all for now. But go give all those people a watch. They're fun to watch. And then, okay, the next thing we wanted to talk about was giveaways because we reached 700 subscribers so thank you very much to all of those who subscribe and watch and give us a comment and all that fun stuff and if you're new thanks for coming by and if you're old thanks for keep watching us um one of the things we wanted to give away we're going to give away seven things so for 700 for 700 subscribe thank you <laughs> oh one of the things is this um Give thanks that I finished. So it's actually basically the chart, the fabric, and there's floss still in here, but this little acorn button, you'll have to source on your own because it is not in there because I used it on mine. So basically it's everything but the button. But the button. So the fabric and the floss. If you, you know. want that. If you want that, say, say turkey. Turkey! <laughs> <laughs> and then another one that Melina and I both finished is this curly ho-hos. Actually, I used um, white, beads. white beads on mine. I instead. used the beads that came they with it. They said ecru. Or off-white. Yeah, they're... But I do like the white better. Well, mine were more yellowy. Mine, Real yellowy. I didn't like mine, so yeah. I used white. Yeah. But anyway, I will put more paper in here and stuff. So, But this one you'll have to source, I think, the heart. And I will add some beads, I think. But other than that, it's, it's pretty only much. like four colors of floss, I think, too. Yeah, it doesn't really have that much floss. There's nothing that you do that with it. It's mainly beads. So anyway, I'll put more stuff in there. So make it a kit again. Essentially, it will make it without a kit, the heart. Minus the heart, and you don't necessarily even need that. You could just do a red beads on it. Yeah. If you want to. Anyway, if you want to win this, you can say ho 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> And this one, which is another one that Melina and I both did, which is the Jingle Bell Wreath. And once again, I will put some more paper in there and more floss and then some Jingle Bells. So that will pretty much be almost complete. If you would like to win this, say wreath. Wreath. Well, that's what I wrote down. Yep. You should have made it cuter. That's okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> this one we actually tried to give away before, which is one of the kits that my friend Cindy Haga has everything in it. This is perforated plastic, the flosses and the hanger and everything. And if you would like this one, say Angel is the person that won it on the last one, did not ever respond to me. So say Angel for that one. And then the other, to make seven, we were going to give away. Not these ones. Not these, but similar we'll, kind of, sort of. We'll make them. We'll make them. We'll make them. And then they'll just be whatever. But if you want to win the pumpkin head one or a pumpkin head one, say pumpkin. And if you want to win the witch head one, say, say witch. witch. And if you want to win the skeleton head one, say, say skeleton. skeleton. And then we'll make some and then we'll send you those. And those will be our own choice of what they look like. Yes. So again, they won't be those they won't exact be, ones. No, because <laughs> I don't have all the same stuff that I made those with. So. so those were our giveaways for 700 subscribers. Yeah, so thank you all for subscribing and all that. <laughs> My dad's home with the groceries. <laughs> so anyway, um, next we have plans. And also one of our viewers wanted to know about um, the stand that Melina's dad made her with the PVC piping. How that is. She has part of it it's here. It's disassembled. It's all here, but it's not put together. So he made this, and we were going to have him do a little thing about how he made it and all this, but he, he's, he's not in the mood. He's not in the mood, and he has a stiff neck. So Melina was going to say... There's plenty of places where you can find this online, so I will try to find some videos and link it. I know they're not exactly the same as what he did, the ones you can find, but they're close enough. Um, essentially, you just get the PVC and you cut it into lengths. This is, I think, it's 8 by 8 or some, maybe 12. I don't know. I need to measure. But it's like a, basically a Q-snap size, so you can use the Q-snap clamps on it. It's just on the PVC pipe, and then you get the other little connectors. And you could glue it together, but mine's not, so I can take it apart and move it. Because while I'm stitching with it, a lot of times I move the legs different depending on where I'm sitting. And he just measured where, how she sat and everything to cut the Yeah, pipe. he measured me, my size, right. so it's for me. <laughs> but right. essentially you just cut the pipes and then you stick them in the joint things and then you put the Q-snap clamps on and voila. You just have to measure it. Yeah. So it's pretty easy, really. Once you have the plans, you can kind of go from there. Because I so. sent them a couple different plans, ideas, and he just kind of winged it from there. Yeah. So she'll link videos below. Sorry that we don't have a... He didn't really make like a blueprint or anything mm -hmm. when he did it. He just, he just did it. He just did it on the fly. So, yeah. So anyway, um, basically our plans, my plans are to keep working on my coffee Quaker. Um, try to get a thousand stitches in my long dog before we go on vacation and then work on a bunch of mill hills when I'm on vacation and then Melina and I are going to go to Dying to Stitch in Virginia Beach, Virginia and then we're going to go to Salty Yarns in Ocean City, Maryland while we are vacationing in Virginia Beach. So that's my plans. <laughs> my plans are Swee Wee and <laughs> Which is stitch where you want. <laughs> when you want. <laughs> when you want. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to take this and be the next one in our stitching group. So I might start this and start working on it. I don't think it will be too long of a one if I get done. So then we can. No, it's pretty easy. I'm awesome. hoping maybe I can get it done before we go on our trip so we can mail it out before we leave that's to the next good. person. So. so that's it. That's our plans. That's all of our stuff. That's the end. We're done. <laughs> So hope you guys all have um, fun stitching and hope everything is good where you are. Hope you're having better weather than this hot, hot, humid heat and have fun. Happy June. Happy June. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching.